Cancer singles, welcome. Super singles, completely singles, totally singles. This is your singles reading for the second half of October, end of October, however you want to pull it. And call it Meet Soulmate. So I'll take eight cards and look at the emotional, intellectual, sexual slash love nature and core value slash lifestyle area and try to get an idea of what this person is like enough to where you might know them and this is not conceived of to be anyone you know yet it'd be someone new in your life um you know i think of it as if uh, we've cleared the runway maybe it's been busy before because you were busy but now it's not and your person's going to come down and land and we're going to pick them up take them out on a date get to know them a little bit and hope by the end of this reading um you can pick them out of the crowd um Bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. Let's shuffle a little bit. But the second time that showed up there in the last uh, four, three readings before this. This is the second time. Let's shuffle it every time. So, well, we know it's about love. Um, also have the Soul Family Read, which is a collective read for whoever resonates. A little more along the lines of spiritual manifestation, that kind of thing. Less about directly romantic love. Check it out. Like Terrence McKenna said, find the others. That kind of read. And the daily read I do. And also the heart spread. That's if you have someone on your mind. Now, over the weekend, I knocked myself out doing all 12 signs, a special Mercury retrograde read. So if you haven't checked that out, um, you can check that out, Cancers. Um, it's kind of about uh, the one you can't get out of your mind. Um, that you know you're not going to have a relationship with them. It's that one that got away. Looking at that, seeing what we can mine out of that. Call it a forensic read. It's because I like to use the word forensic and tarot together. It works. <laughs> Sometimes you need to go back to go forward, you know. So, one more time. We're going to have uh, see your person. See what they're like. Okay. Well, Ten of Cups is in their emotional nature, so good on them. Very emotional. King of Cups, wow. In their emotional nature, kind of look at the uh, intellect above and the unconscious below, conscious above, uh, unconscious below. Um, Wow, very emotional. I'd go with the um, here with the Cancer Moon. I have a Cancer Moon because it's where it's at home, and this is like uh, where I read the Moon. I try to get the astrological signs, at least the Sun, the Moon, Venus, and Mars should come through. Um, and here we see the emotional nature, which is very strong. I would say they just come from a really happy family. Their mom and dad are probably still together, would be my guess. Um, I mean, I mean, God forbid they're still alive, um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and it kind of leaves them with this King of Cups here energy for themselves, that down in their core, unconscious, I see part of them, that part that's below the level of words, you know. Um, Very solid, you know, there's someone that'd be mostly available, mostly understanding, mostly intelligent, mostly aware. They, they wouldn't probably have any trouble being vulnerable. Um, I could already tell you a lot of the rest of it. They're, what they're not going to tell you is stories probably about horrible exes and stuff. Because a person like this, I mean, they're, they're not going to uh, allow themselves to get into the, that bad of a red flag territory. and they probably would just feel like that it was dysfunctional. That's a good word to use. Uh, no codependent energy here with them, likely. I shouldn't say no, they're all codependent, but, and I, I'm like a proponent of that, you know? I'm not one of the people like, we're gonna be not codependent, like good luck with that. You're on your own journey, don't put that on me. Um, but they're healthy, because that's what they had patterned for them. So not only do the parents stick together, I don't know what the deal was exactly, but they loved each other and they respected each other. This child grew up uh, seeing this man or woman here and it made them into this whole person that's emotionally uh, not fucked up, 
which in itself is kind of a tell because it's a little weird. You, know, you can date about uh, 10 people. I've met nine of them who come from rough childhoods. Now, Ace of Pentacles, this is in their intellectual position. Very good to have there. I like that. And the Magician. Wow. Magician next to the King of Cups. Now remember, uh, this is an always positive read because we're simply reading the one who's right for you. Not your next ex problem. The one that's right for you. Okay? So the Ace of Pentacles and the Magician... You know, not only did his, I just said his, his or her parents uh, give them a very uh, strong emotional uh, grounding, just self-confidence, a sense of self-worth, that kind of thing. Um, they also uh, genetically passed on a good mind and, you know, environment. Uh, maybe both parents already kind of had the feeling they're high functioning. So they were around high functioning uh, parents with, you know, good vocabularies and paid attention to their education and this and that and this and that but i think just probably if you ask them another tell they're going to have an iq like over 140 this person um and they have they could just do anything they want you know with the ace of pentacles and a magician here um i'm trying to think of the astrological signs um but they could basically create anything they want with their mind. And I don't mean like a drawing. <laughs> I mean, they could think their way through things, difficult things, and with the magician energy, I mean, achieve what they want. Um, I think this got Capricorn on it. It just feels like such a strong energy too. Um, and so grounded. You know, uh, I kind of want to go Virgo with the Magician there. Um, and I really like Virgo Mercury for this person, but I want an exalted Mercury. So I'm going to go uh, with the Aquarius. Now, as an astrologer, one of the things I learned early, after like a couple hundred readings, I kept seeing Aquarius uh, Mercury's being just so smart and so capable um, as a person, you know. And so it's not, you know, particularly exalted or anything there, but it just seems like it can, that fixed air, it can, they can really get the job done with. And Aquarius, Mercury, if you need to learn something, you can learn it. It's like you can sit down, you can concentrate, and you can figure it out. You can figure it out. That's the main thing. And so you take this person, already comes in. Imagine, just saying, emotionally they're balanced, they're whole, they're not all fucked up. They don't have, they don't have to deal with all that spent my whole life, okay? First of all, not their thing. So, they got that going for them. Second, they're really smart. That's not everything. I get it. It is something. They got that going for them, okay? Um, cancer, moon. Their moon and sun's probably opposite, too. Yeah. I think you could look that in their natal. Within six degrees, I bet their moon sun's going to be opposite. But they're making that work for them. <laughs> you know, astrology's funny. Uh, an opposition just keep you going, man. And for a Capricorn, that's going where? The goat climbing is going up, going up, going up. So this is someone, no matter where they're at, they're going higher. No matter where they're at, they're going higher. And it, it's just like the way they are, you know. Uh, it's like if you've stuck this person at any level of any corporation, I can guarantee you that over time they're going to just start climbing. They'll figure it out, figure it out, they have that ability, whatever needs to be done, and they'll, then they'll do it and they'll start climbing. So I wouldn't expect them to be a slouch uh, in terms of what they do for a living and money, but we'll see. Sexual position. Huh, Capricorn with the Seven of Wands. Hmm. How about that? And the Two of Pentacles. Wow. I think we got a Capricorn here that has a Capricorn Mars also. That's what this Two of Pentacles is. So now we're looking at uh, a lot of the astrology of this 
person here, Cancer Moon, Capricorn Sun, probably in opposition, uh, Aqua Mercury, um, and a, can a Capricorn uh, Mars here. And I want to see this as an Aries Venus. It could be. Um, which is really interesting for them. And when I saw this, I, I don't know, I'm not so much thinking of defending the castle here. Um, it's, it's Aries because it's uh, action for the self. They're taking action. And this is the way Aries Venus is. Like, they're going to love you because they know you're the best deal for them. They're not going to love the second best deal for them. They're going to love the best deal for them. And as with all Aries energy, which I admire by and large, um, there's a, a, a honesty to it that's kind of nice. It's kind of helpful. Um, there's not a lot of uh, bruise uh, to them. You know, um, you're the best deal for me. I want you. <laughs> you know. But I could see this person being a master manifester, and it's the Seven of Wands, not the Magician, that really got me for that. Um, being able to take this action in terms of love. Um, so again, like I was saying, they're probably not someone that's going to have uh, uh, stories about horrible exes and that kind of thing because they're solid and they think things through and they manifest what they want. And this is not only uh, love, this is, man, their Venus is tied to the Capricorn energy somehow, maybe, uh, not sure how it's working exactly, but it'd be some kind of harmonious way. And so they're just capable of manifesting what they want. Like if they desire this, they will manifest this. If they desire that, they will manifest that. Um, I'll say it other than that. So let's see what we get. Seven of Cups. Now well, this is where we're getting into the core values and the lifestyle in the uh, Seven of Swords. This person, uh, <laughs> okay, Seven of Cups in the Seven of Swords, Seven, Seven. I told you a manifester. I mean, I, and I don't want to get into the whole witch thing, but like they could be a practicing witch or warlock, however you want to look at it. Um, they could be a practicing healer. They could do long distance healing. They could do maybe healing by hands. Um, they could full on be a psychiatrist, psychologist, a social worker. Um, but there's someone that has an ability to, with the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups, and they can all, already manifest anything they want. Like, I put it this way, good thing it's your soulmate, because you would not hide anything from this person. I mean, this person has got the, the goods, you know. Uh, they're uh, going to pick up emotionally something's going on. Intellectually, they'll be able to put it together. The magician here put it all together, whatever's necessary. They'll drag in the sex into it and see how that calculates, you know, and uh, everything. Um, so they're the kind of person then in the way they work, they, you could not hide anything from them. Um, I don't want to say it's a detective. It's not that kind of energy. It's psychological energy. It could go a lot of different ways, but they would be, you know, there's a lot of psychologists that work doing different kind of tests. Could work for a corporation, this person. They could be a school psychologist for a school district, this kind of thing. A psychologist on consult uh, for some a large organization, you know. This could be a uh, professor, I'm not kidding you, who teaches uh, psychology, that kind of thing. So let me know, guys. I don't conceive of this being someone you've already met, it's someone you're going to meet, and I'd like you just do me the favor of getting back to me when you do and say, yo, Dave, I can't believe it, but I just met this dude you were talking about at the uh, end of October, uh, Cancer Singles Read. Like, share, subscribe. Do appreciate it, guys. Thank you.